Welcome back to the farm. Today I'm out testing two cameras. My new Canon G7X Mark II against my GoPro Hero 4 Black. Let's go put them to the test and see which one you like best. All right, here we go. Let me preface this video first by saying that uh, I do have both cameras on auto. So I have not messed with the ISO or any of the other options that are available on these cameras, both on auto. All right, here is a good spot to test the audio on this rushing water. Let's see which one picks it up the best. Take a look up into the sun. All right, the uh, GoPro I'm using today is the Hero 4 Black. And you can see I have it on a three axis gimbal. And the Canon G7X is on just a little Joby tripod. So let's go test out the stabilization of these two cameras. We'll take a little walk and a little jog out here in the pasture. All right, here we go. I have the camera side by side on a gentle walk out here in the open pasture. I got both cameras with fully outstretched arms. GoPro on my left hand and the G7X on my right. I'm gonna walk down this hill, hold them as steady as I can, and let's see how the stabilization is. All right, I'm gonna flip the screen up on the cannon. Man, it's a beautiful day out. It's not a cloud in the sky, just a slight breeze in the upper 40s. Man, I couldn't pass the opportunity to come out and walk around here and around the pasture a little bit. Now we're gonna try a run with them facing me. The GoPro is in my left hand and the G7X in my right hand. It's kind of hard to run when you got two arms out in front of you. <sighs> All right, well, I'm not sure how it's gonna look. I can sure see my head bobbing up and down quite a bit in the cannon and the GoPro is just cruising along nice and smooth no matter what I do because of the gimbal. And now I see that the battery's about to die. Good night. All right, I'm gonna turn these around and we're gonna take a little jog. Got the GoPro in my left hand and the Canon in my right. Okay, this is a medium paced jog. I'm trying to hold them as steady as I can. We got a really stiff wind coming into me right now. I imagine these things are sounding pretty bad. We'll see. All right, let's try one more run with them out in front of me.
All right. Well, I'm hoping that's a pretty good test to uh, determine which camera is going to be the good, my go-to camera from here on out. Can't wait to see this footage. Another test I'd like to see is how well these two cameras perform in a low light setting on auto. So let's take a little walk into this barn behind me and see how well they do. All right, there's no lights on this barn and it's pretty dark. We have a little light over here and let's turn this way and see how they do over here in a darker section. And now I'm going to turn around facing me and we're going to walk back over to the main door where the natural light's coming in and see how these things perform while I do a 360. Okay, when I block the light with my head on the cannon, there I see it adjusting, then leave that light, I'll probably get dark again. Yep. Now let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Takes a few seconds, but uh, does really well. Wow. Well, obviously I don't know what the GoPro looks like right now because uh, there's no screen on it, but I'm pretty happy with the way the Canon performs in low light. I got one more test here. I'm sitting inside my uh, Polaris Ranger and we're gonna start it up. We're gonna take a little drive, hit some bumps and see what these cameras can handle. Actually, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this driving and holding them with one hand. Hiking out here in this beautiful weather and on a cloud in the sky. It's, uh, it's nice to actually see a clear blue sky and some sun for a change. We've had nothing but rain and clouds for like a month it seems like. And just out here in the pasture where we used to graze cattle. There's the old family farm across the field where the grain bins and silos are. And there's 80 or 90 acres back here. It's a very hilly area. And funny story, this hill right up there, the highest peak back here. When I was growing up, I was always told that that was the second highest hill in Ohio. And I always believed it. I mean, we're pretty close to the highest point in Ohio. It's about three miles as the crow flies that way. So I brought my Motion X GPS app on my smartphone out here the other day, and I thought I'd test it for myself to see how high it really is. And it was 1,317 feet. So pretty high, but not near the highest point in Ohio. Most people think of Ohio as being very flat, but uh, we have lots of rolling hills here in Logan County. Anyway, can't wait to upload this footage and take a look at it. I have a feeling I'm still gonna be going to the Hero 4 Black for most of my hikes, and but definitely use the Canon G7X for walk-by shots, uh, zooming in shots, and of course pictures quality is far superior for pictures but uh overall it's a great camera i love having the uh little flip up screen to uh, make sure i'm in the frame and i like this little joby tripod all right well that concludes my test comparison of the canon g7x versus the gopro hero 4 black can't wait to see this footage let me know what you think love to hear your comments down below and i'm going to put links in the description for a few of the items I'm using today, my uh, Joby tripod and um, the gimbal, the stabilizing gimbal on my uh, Hero 4 Black. So, all right guys, well hey, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. 
So I know this comparison might not be... Oh my gosh, of course I get a phone call right now. My Hero 4 Black. Mm. Stepped in a soup hole. Good night. It's like quicksand right there. All right, let's do this again. Oh, man. Right off the bat. Soaking wet feet. 